In this video we're going to go over collision and I'm going to add something to the object class. I'm going to add a width and a height and then this dot width equals width this dot height equals height. Now the width and height are going to be for collision basically and I'm also going to go up to here in player I'm going to say I want to go check what the width and height of you left or you write dot png is it's 32 by 44 so the width is 32 and the height is 44 um, and then what I want does it do I want to create an, a block I want to say var block equals new object images forward slash block dot png comma 100, 300, so it's going to be 200 pixels under the player, then 32, 32, because that's the size of the block, it's 32 by 32. Now when we run this, oh, I forgot, I also got to render the block. Go down here to render, we say graphics.drawImage, block.sprite, block.x, block.y then refresh this now as you can see there's a block under your player now we're not going to go over gravity just yet but we are going to move the player down um so we're, i'm going to say at my main loop i'm going to say i'm going to just by default i want to say player dot velocity y equals five or let's say three now he's going to move down but I want, I'm just going to make him stop when he hits the block, just to show collision. And so to do this, we got to make a function. I'm going to make the function inside of the object class, and I want to make it the function um, this dot is colliding equals function um, obj. So you're going to input an object, and it's going to check if it's colliding with that object. Um, so the first thing we want to say is um first thing we want to say is if if this dot x is greater than um obj dot x plus obj dot width then return false. So basically if um let me open paint so I can show you. We're basically saying, um, here's, here's your sides. Let me put them in the center. Let's create a box. And on your box, you have these sides. Think of them like this. This is your X1 side. This is your X2 side. This is your Y1 side, and this is your Y2 side. And if we were to have another box that was exactly the same, I don't know, we can create another one, I guess. Put it right here. There's not enough room, let's stretch it out. So we're basically saying, um, for the this dot x, that's um, this side right here, x1. And then we're said if this is greater than, if you um, obj dot x plus obj dot width, that gets us the x2 side. So if we're saying if the x is greater than the other objects x2, then they can't be colliding because that doesn't make any sense. If this side is more right than this side and they can't be colliding so you want to use the same logic a lot we want to say if this dot x plus this dot width so if the x2 side is less than the x other ones x1 side then return false and now we want to do the same thing for the y's except to get the y2 side we add the height so this if 
this dot y is greater than obj dot y plus obj dot height return false if this dot if this dot y plus this dot height is less than obj dot y um, return false and if none of those then it's probably colliding so return true now what we want to do is up here if we just say under logic um, player dot velocity y equals zero then he's just going to stop right when it starts we're going to say if player dot is colliding and then with the block now let's run this now as you can see he stops when he hits the block just fine because it was on um, this function here that I just showed you um, will successfully check um, collision so it will check if it's colliding it, um, it'll basically return true if it's colliding with an object return false if it's not colliding so if the player dot is colliding block with the block then um, set its velocity y to zero and so that's how we do collision and collision is really important.